Oh my goodness, these mood boards are unbelievable. You guys are killing it. Whoa. You do not want to miss this video. If you've been thinking about using mood boards for your business, but you're not quite sure which app you should be using, I'm here to help. I'm going to break it down today, and I've got some help from some fabulous designer friends who have sent me some examples of their own mood boards. So let's do this. But first, for unbeatable advice that will give you clarity in your interior design business, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm here every week and hit the bell to also make sure that you get notified when I publish new videos. If you're feeling overwhelmed and unsure of which mood board app to use for your interior design business, well, I'm here to help because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing not only what my team uses, but also what other designers use in their interior design business to convey their design concepts to their clients. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm gonna show you how to easily create beautiful client packages for your clients. The first mood board app for consideration is the one that I use and it is through PowerPoint. PowerPoint is free and simple to use. You can easily change the size of an image and move them around to exactly where you want them placed within your board. You can also add text in the same way. Here are some examples as I'm showing you of my own client mood boards as well as some other designers who also use PowerPoint in their business. Here you can see what my friend Jill McDonald of Jill Sonia Interiors does with her PowerPoint presentations. Jill says that the benefits are that it's free, it's easy to use, and it has a remove background feature. So she could take, for example, a photo of a pillow online and then clean it up only to show the pillow and not the background. The second mood board app that you can use is Keynote. And I'm gonna be showing you one that we did here for clients. Even though I'm not an Apple or a Mac user, my senior designer does use uh, her Mac. So that's where you are able to find Keynote. Before we get on to the next one, I wanna hear from you. Comment below and tell me if you are using a mood board app for your client presentations. Which one is it and why do you love it? Comment below and let's share. So this is Adobe Photoshop. What I'm showing you here is by Joshua Jones. And uh, Joshua creates mood boards and 2D renderings for his e-design clients. He loves it because it's so easy and quick to put the design together to show to his e-design clients. Here we have a design by Lisa Laliberte Ale. I hope I pronounced that right, Lisa. Uh, she created these also in Photoshop. She enjoys working in Photoshop because it has so many tools. She can use layers, change colors, transfer images, draw shadows. How gorgeous are these? Here we have Julie Madsen, and Julie uh, also uses Photoshop. Why? Because for her, she says it's the best program where I can do whatever I want. She's used it for many, many years, and she likes it a lot. And last but not least, while looking at Photoshop, Becky Liu. Becky Liu is a very talented designer, does some beautiful work. I loved her mood boards as soon as I saw them. They too are done in Photoshop. She says, I love Photoshop because it's so incredibly flexible. Anything I can dream up in a graphic sense, she can use Photoshop to make that happen. Just hopping back to Apple for a second. So this is a mood board app uh, number four, and this is by Apple and it's called Pages. Take a look at these lovely mood boards that were done by Janet. Uh, Janet's mood boards, she says that she's created both of them in Apple Pages program, which is very easy and intuitive to use. It's really easy to knock out backgrounds and resize and do simple editing of images and to add text and to move stuff around. So it's a fast way to get a polished looking presentation put together. And last but not least, we are looking here at the mood board app called Design Files. So these are done by Maria Bowers. Aren't these gorgeous? Maria designed these in Design Files for a client's basement. Being a self-taught interior decorator, she found the program to be incredibly user-friendly. And Maria also says that she's been given rave reviews of this program from her clients as well, so they really enjoy when she uses these for presentations. Now you know what the best mood board apps are for your interior design business, but what about packaging these all together for your clients? Do you have a way that you're doing this that you're confident in? If you're not, I can help you with that. I have my Rock the 3D Design Presentation Processes package that takes you step by step through my process for creating a well thought out and beautiful presentation for your clients. The package includes templates of three different style of design packages you can provide, a client checklist to keep you on track, an easy to follow process flowchart, drafted emails to send to your client, information on how to measure a space, and a video where I walk you through my process explaining each step. If you're looking to add 3D designs to your arsenal of services that you provide to your clients and you're not sure how to put together 
all of this beautiful package, then make sure that you check it out because it's gonna make it so much easier for you, I promise. Why start from scratch when I've already got it here for you? So the link will be in the description below. That's my Rock the 3D Design Presentation Package. All right, so if you found this video helpful and you found that it's giving you clarity for your interior design business, then please make sure that you give it a thumbs up, share it with other designer friends, and thank you so much to all of those fabulous design peeps, friends of mine who participated and let me share their wonderful work in this video of mood board apps. Be sure to comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Cheers again, and I'll see you next time. Bye. That you will turn into blah, blah, blah. <sighs> CTA, take two. Now you know what the mess, <laughs> take three.